Hello, Darren the Magic Ghostbuster here. Um, not in my normal setting, I'm actually recording this off my phone on the way back from the gym, so sorry if the video or audio is a little off. Um, things have just been really, really hectic lately, so, um, and particularly the last couple of weeks, um, just what can go wrong has gone wrong. It's just been absolutely mental. So, um, just don't have time at the moment to, you know, set up my camera, get the light in and out, uh, and then edit it with all, you know, the intro and all that. So, just want to do this. Um, all the videos that have gone on recently and coming up have all been like done and scheduled, so um, they're all, you know, they're fine. Um, but just didn't expect to be doing this video. Um, didn't want to be doing this video, but Eagle Moss Hero Collector have gone into administration. Um, now, you'll know they are the ones who do the build and XO1, among other things, you know, they do lots of other build kits and models. Um, so, yeah, it really sucks at the moment. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna want to rant about this, Please feel free in the comments to rant as much as you like. Um, just bear in mind if you swear or anything, I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, but you might get picked up by some YouTube algorithm and I've done everything get deleted. Um, I'm not going to delete anything, but you know, just just bear that in mind. Um, but as regards to my model, particularly um, about two weeks ago, I actually received my replacement door finally um, and issue 34, um, which is the light bar, one of the light bars. Um, I haven't had, just haven't had time to look at it properly, so um, don't know if that actually completes the light bar or if it carries on into the issue after. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do now, to be honest. Um, I will probably still build it, build those parts. Um, I'll explain why shortly. But um, don't know if to bother recording them and doing videos. So it just seems a bit pointless now. Um, if you want to see those videos, let me know. But don't know, just. I mean, I don't have the wheel to, to build them very soon anyway, but like I said, yeah, if you want to see the videos, let me know and I'll do them, but I just don't really see the point now. But it's just not a good situation. But um, I know some people are up to 36. I've not heard of anyone who had issue 37. I think if you're kind of on these last few stages, I think you might be okay in that there's modding companies that will be able to do the roof rack. I know there's some that are working on that. I'm sure they'll be able to do the light bar, whether they light up or not, I don't know, but I'm sure there'll be someone who would do light bars and stuff. Um, I'm sure there's people that could do the doors and all sorts, but I think I think that would just be probably a bit too much of an ask. And, and, and the people that don't have all that stuff yet are the ones I really feel sorry for. Um, because these modding companies, um, if you've ever looked at their bits, charge an absolute fortune for their stuff. And you know, I'm sure this stuff costs a lot of money to make. They don't have the mass production, obviously, Eagle Moss do uh, with their giant uh, manufacturer or anything. Um, so, you know, to buy the roof rack is probably going to cost quite a lot of money uh, when they do them. Um, you know, just do metal doors and all that, I imagine it would cost a fortune and probably more, than it, more money than it'd be worth spending to complete the model, sadly. Um, it's a shame, it's a shame. I, like I said, I feel sorry for the people most who are further back. Um, yeah, I think us in these last few stages might be okay. Might, um, fingers crossed. But um, So what does them going into administration mean? Um, that happened, I don't know if you have the same term in other countries. Um, I'm sure you probably have a similar process. It's where a company's basically so far in the red, they can't carry on, so they appoint an administrator to come in and sort the company out, you know, and try and sell it on or rescue it. Or Most of these companies end up going under when they go into administration. Um, my more recent example is a big department store called Debenhams over here in the UK. Um, they went into administration. What normally happens is that uh, all their remaining stock, you know, get sold off cheap, they have a big sale, um, hope to sell the company. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, sometimes the company gets, like with shops and all that, like, sometimes someone buys the name and they just carry it on as an online thing. Um, but, I mean, we can hope that someone carries on, you know, someone buys Eagle Moss, like another one of these build companies, or, you know, maybe just carries on the building ecto maybe they don't buy eagle moss but maybe they could buy the license in and buy the parts um something i don't really know um you know i'm partly hoping that eagle moss uh have a big sale or the administrators do a sale for them um and hoping i can personally can get issues 35 and 36 cheap which would make doing those final couple of stages easier um 
even if they're not cheap, I mean, I have to pay retail for them. Um, what's annoying is uh, about a week before they went into administration, I actually emailed them, uh, or not emailed, sent a message on uh, Facebook, sorry, um, asking if I could get those next two issues because um, I had the money and just thought, just get them done and out of the way and then, you know, just one more to go. Um, but they didn't reply. Um, now the, the customer service page pages are down. Uh, they're not answering the phones, not replying to emails. If you go on their website, it says there's technical difficulties that stop you ordering. So it's not good. Um, Money-wise, I don't know what we can do to recover our money. Um, I know there's people out there who pay month, uh, not monthly. You know, a lot of people pay monthly. I'm talking about yearly. Um, I've seen some social media posts where people have, you know, their, their yearly amount has come out in the last month or two, and those people should definitely be able to get their money back if you contact your bank because you've not received your parts for that money. Um, I think it's going to be more difficult if you pay monthly because you're still technically receiving those parts. I don't, I don't really know the legality of it all. And obviously, the company is in administration, so it's not like we can sue them or anything. Um, it's, a, it's a really shit situation, absolute shit situation, and yeah, it's just, just, just not good. Um, and Eagle Moss have, let's be honest, right? They have been an absolute clusterfuck of a company. Um, really badly run. If we're honest, they probably deserve to go out of business. Doesn't mean I'm wanting them to, obviously, because it screws us all, but they were really, really badly run. Um, and now they've gone into administration, there's loads of stories coming out about how they've fed out with their Chinese manufacturer. Um, there's this story going around that, let's see if I remember this right, that Eagle Moss owned the rights to, to do the building Ecto-1, but they don't own the rights to the actual parts that the manufacturer does, and apparently that's why there's such a delay with uh, the final part. Um, don't know if that's true, but yeah, is what it is. Um, so yeah, that, that's um, one of the stories that's going around. Um, there's been loads of other stuff going around, like um, about how they haven't they didn't put anything in one of the latest wholesale catalogs. Um, some of the more prominent YouTubers on the builds deleted their videos a couple of weeks back, which to me shows people have known this is this was going to be happening quite a while back. Um, you know, but obviously Eagle Moss don't give a shit about us, and that's why they kept charging us and sending us bits. Um, I don't really know what more to say, if I'm honest. Um, it's just an absolute shit situation. Um, yeah, what, what, what can I say about it? It's it's just so shit. Um, like I said, I think I think I'm probably one of the luckier ones in that I'm near the end, so I might be able to do some modding. But I think oh, to use people that are further back. I mean, you know, you might have spent. I mean, what's the total price of this? What about one and a half grand? The total price of this once it's finished. Um, and I mean, if you're halfway along, and I'm trying to, I can't even remember what the car looked like halfway along. I don't think it even had doors halfway along. You know, you've spent seven hundred and fifty pound on a shell that I can't. Unless someone takes over, I don't see how that, that just seems like too far modding to me. I just don't. And it's not like you can sell this stuff on eBay now. Who's going to buy it? If you came to me with half a car and said, "Here, here you can have this for a pound," I wouldn't want it. I don't want it for a pound, I don't want it for a penny. I don't want it just taking up space. It's useless. Absolutely useless and worthless, and it's so shit. But yeah, let me know what you think of the situation. Um, wish I had better news. Hopefully, we'll get some good news from the administrators soon. Um, it would have been nice if at least there's some, uh, just something written on the, the Eagle Moss Facebook page or website or something just. To say they've gone into administration and they'll give us an update or something, but no, there's not even anything like that. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think in the uh, comments and um, rant as much as you like. And um, hopefully, we have better news soon, basically. Um, and if um, you're a modding company or you, um, you know, you're making bits, 3D printing bits you want to sell, please post links to any of your stuff um, to help people out, basically. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I've got to say on the situation, really. Um, I wasn't just going to keep repeating myself and moaning. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching my videos, if you have done over the past, uh, the Build an Ecto-1 videos. Um, 
like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the next ones, but obviously I've got loads of other non-Building Ecto-1 stuff, so please check them out. But anyway, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it, and um, I normally end these videos by saying, keep on busting. But this one I'm going to end with something different. Eagle Moss, you can go fuck yourselves.